Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker Dinop Realtors. Well, today I'm at the beautiful one acre lot community of Bell Oaks in Bovarde, Texas. Now, about a year and a half, maybe even two years ago now, I did a video tour from my truck, but I happened to be out here getting a lot video and I thought, eh, might as well do a video tour from my motorcycle. So yeah, let's go for a ride, a realtor ride. All right, we're gonna start off at the front part of the community. This is Blanco Road. If you go about 10, 15 minutes down Blanco Road, you're gonna hit Northern San Antonio to include like the Stone Oak area, all the doctor's offices and everything, nice restaurants, all that good stuff. And about three minutes uh, north going up uh, Blanco Road here, you hit 46. That's gonna put you at about a 15 minute drive uh, heading west towards Bernie and probably about a 25 to 30 minute drive heading east to New Braunfels, Texas. So the closest grocery store is the HEB in Spring Branch. It's only like 10 minutes away from here. And the elementary school is gonna be down this road, down this part of Blanco and make a left hand turn to like Raw Elementary. Uh, tax rate in this community, you're looking at about 1.85. And at the end of this video, I'm going to have a slide that has all that information uh, so you can reach out and uh, verify what I'm talking about. But yeah, let's hop on my Tiger 900 GT Pro and head on into Bell Oaks and check this community out. Now, as I'm filming this, this is March. Oh, shoot. He came out of nowhere. There was no one coming that way. All right. He's moving too. All right, coming into Bell Oaks, uh, you have all your models down this road here. Uh, Journey Homes, uh, the Casa de Maine, Sitterly. Uh, those are some of the model homes. We're going down the main drag here. But yeah, those are some really, some really nice builders. David Weekly's built a few homes out here where they're built on their lot program. So is Monticello. So, just because you see some custom home builders or some production home builders, they both, David Weekly and Monticello, have really good build on your lot programs. Actually, I think that's a David, no, maybe this is a David Weekly home. One of those two homes David Weekly built. All right, as I'm filming this, it is March 2024, like I mentioned before. This community has been out here for a little while now, and they have actually i'm pretty sure videoed that home and uh i think someone's decided to sell it but we're going to make a left hand turn and we're going to go around to the first phase of this house but yeah i did a video from my truck uh, a while back but uh, i think you can get a better view from my motorcycle so yes these power lines do run a good stretch through the community down the road they do plan to put like jogging trails or something like that in it but this is uh in phase one to where all this is going to be established they're already going to have the water and electricity already done uh, i was out here because my clients are looking at one of the lots out here we might be putting an offer on it real soon well, later on today, I'm putting the offer in. But uh, I thought it was a good opportunity to, be, to come out and video this. But uh, some really nice builders. This phase one, because it's been out here the longest, has quite a few built up in it. You do have two main entrances in this community. One of them is going to be back that away. That's important to know because sometimes uh blanco road and some of these back roads gonna get flooded a little bit when we got a good heavy rain but that second entrance does not and that gives you access to go out to 46 which also does not flood important to know in case you need to get out in an emergency but this is the oops i wanted to go back down that way this is the texas hill country so mostly built on uh limestone so things drain pretty quickly out here let's see i was gonna let me go find a way to turn around i got a car behind me let me just turn in here looks like somebody muddied up that driveway and yeah it's 
3.30 right now, so school's been letting out. So not the ideal time to come out here. I should come out on a Sunday afternoon where there'd be less traffic. <clears throat> but this is a community to where you could buy your lot. And let me tell you, there's a bunch of lots available right now. A lot of people bought lots out here um, a couple years ago, especially during the COVID frenzy. And then cost of building came well interest rates went up and that changed a lot of people's ability to build their big dream home on it so now they are selling their lots and right now we've got somewhere between 90 and 100 lots that are on the secondary market i wanted to come down this road because a few years back they did have the parade of homes out here and all these homes were on the parade of homes so this is going to be where you got the most beautiful homes oh there's one that's for sale right now and i did a video tour of this one that is a gorgeous gorgeous home but yeah it was a really cool parade of homes uh they do that every year some uh higher end community in the area like i said i need to see if they'll let me do a video tour of that home for sale but you've got several builders back here that participated in the parade of homes and uh oh there's the micro bear custom home back there i did a video tour of as well but all these lots are going to be one acre lots like i said interest rates at 1.85 HOA fee you're looking at 975 a year so not that crazy bad this doesn't have the amenities like vintage oaks does then again nothing has the amenities that vintage oaks has but um, they do have really nice pool tennis courts well there's a Monticello home available Everview home being built I've done a couple of videos of their stuff too. That's pretty cool. And there's a Sitterly house. So you, you can go two ways. You can have uh, buy a lot and have a house built on it. Some of the builders, I saw that TK there. Um, the builder owns the lot and you buy the lot and then have the builder packaged up together. Now, the last time I was out here, out here doing my truck tour, this all was still under construction. There was no pool water in the pool. So yeah, definitely curious to wanting to get this on film now to kind of showcase the amenities. There's the lots and lots of tennis courts and pickleball. Everyone loves their pickleball, but a really beautiful pool. A little splash pad area for the kiddos. But the amenity center here and the little clubhouse and some basketball courts back there as well. And a nice little playground. And that's going to be like kind of right in the middle of the community. So I uh, mentioned there's a lot of bunch of lots for sale right now. So during the what I call the frenzy, uh, everybody was gobbling up everything they could. But now with interest rates still like at six and a half, seven percent, uh, people change, life plans change, and so now there's a lot more lots on the, what's called the secondary market. The developer has now sold out. They've moved out of the area. Yeah. And everything that you see that's on the market right now, you're gonna have to use a real estate agent to purchase. And hey, I'm a real estate agent. So if you did want to buy any lots out here, Feel free to reach out to me. Uh, that's what one of my uh, people have been watching me on YouTube for a while and they reached out to me and it looks like we're gonna be putting an offer on a lot. But some gorgeous oak trees out in this community. They do have some restrictions. Uh, you are required to have a metal roof or a Spanish tile roof. They also want you to landscape uh, pretty close up to the front of the road as you can see there and square footage i uh, believe the minimum square footage to build out here is 
2400 so definitely no mobile homes out here that's that's a big hard no-no all right we're going from like one side of the community to the other side the last time i did my truck video most of these houses were not here and some of these roads weren't even here we were doing dirt road driving they are when this developer built things they were selling the lots and some people were doing what's called a prairie build where there was no electricity no water and uh there has been some issues trying to get at least in the later stages make sure they got electricity and water i know phase nine which is up on the hill which is our final phase they're still working on it i think believe i was told today they're supposed to have water up there now but that could have been real frustrating to be buying building a house and being told by the county that water is coming water is coming and then it's still not coming but i think they've almost got that resolved so that won't be an issue uh especially if you're looking to build from dirt right now this is a little interesting section i believe this is phase six where there's no trees and they i was really shocked when the developer were selling these that they sold so fast but you can tell no one really bought they bought them but no one's building on this just yet well very few are that's a good looking house they got the zip system which uh chessmar uses in their product and custom home builders do evolutionary homes hey that's the same people who did the i talked about with the model home evolutionary homes good god they build a beautiful home and there's an example of evolutionary homes owns that lot so they can do a little package deal where you do the lot and the house all together so i definitely give a big thumbs up on evolutionary homes robert custom homes journey homes chessmar home not chessmar uh casa de Maine. all of them can build out here and if you want to go with a production built on your lot of course you got david weekly monticello so lots of different options uh jlp they own quite a few lots out here that you could build their home on but i do like this community uh especially if you want to be kind of in the north central part of the san antonio area but you don't want to be in the hustle and bustle that is uh the stone oak stuff so we do see a lot of doctors and stuff that work out of the stone oak area and then moved up here because it's a lot more quiet pace we're now on Ainsley's ridge this is the back road to the community uh, a little bit longer lots going back there sunset uh, west is that way so i do like this back area here just because at least on this part of Ainsley Ridge, there's going to be nobody back behind you. And there's a lot that I sold. And then uh, somebody else bought. Well, no, I was trying to sell that lot. And then interest rates went up. And it just didn't happen. So I know it, they, they decided to go with a different realtor. And it sold for less expensive than even I thought it would So yeah, prices in this, uh, they have gone up, but they've definitely gone back down quite a bit as well since the frenzy is over and a lot more lots coming on the market. That's going to put downward pressure on prices. So yep, I was very familiar with this lot that these guys are building on. Because yeah, this drainage thing was a fraction of the size when my client bought that lot before my client at the time but i have helped other people buy lots that were i think one of these two lots i helped a client buy which still slopes from the front to the back so you're not going to have any steps in the back but you might have a few in the front that's a beautiful home Up, oh, getting into some mud here. Oh, I like that white and black one. 
but this can be a little more of a quieter community uh I don't know I don't see a whole bunch of kids running around here um, it didn't have all the social things I guess that Vintage Oaks has with like the Lazy River but definitely if you're looking for a quiet community and uh, a little bit it's not super super close to anything but it's also not too too far away from anything either let's see All right, yep, there's one of the house, my clients built that house there. And yep, that was him waving at me. Uh, he's quite happy with his house. He built with Grand Endeavor. See Monticello's building that house. I don't know if my client recognized me with my helmet on. He was just waving to be friendly, but yep. I'll text him later. But yeah, he's quite happy. He had a beautiful pool put in the back area. He came, sold his house in California for a crazy amount. And I know there's his pool back there. But yeah, he's been super happy. That Grand Endeavor built him a gorgeous home. And they put a lot of bells and whistles in it. That's a cool house. That, that's fairly new. All right, I'm gonna make this right-hand turn and we're gonna go up into phase nine. This is the most recent phase and this is one that they've been having some delays on getting the water and electricity out here. But this is also gonna be the highest part in the community. So there's gonna be some epic views up here and I'm sure there's some lots for sale now as well. But yeah, the client I was just talking about when he was trying, he'd bought his lot and was trying to decide once phase nine opened up, I spent a whole day crawling through these woods, videoing these lots and kind of showcasing the pros and cons for them, especially with the ones we're looking for right now. They're going to have some killer views off the back end while we're coming up to. There's not a lot of trees up front, but man, is that a pretty nice views out the back. That's what these lots here, and I don't see these lots got gobbled up pretty quick. Oh, Joffitz owns one of them. They're a good builder as well. And I know I videoed some of these lots as well. They kind of pie really wide in the front and then narrow in the back. But yeah, you can see we got some really cool views up here in phase nine. They just need to make sure they got all the water turned on. All right, let me make this U-turn. Everything is going to be septic out here, um, but they do have water. There's no wells. It's all going to be water, regular electricity, high-speed internet, as in like fiber optic internet, so you don't have to worry about anything like that. And septic isn't as big deal as it used to be. They use uh, the aerobic septic system. You just got to make sure you have someone coming out and take care of it like twice a year but yeah some nice views from up here I know I walked down through all of this stuff here before when I was doing all those video tours going down but these houses on my left and right are gonna have some pretty nice views see them through the trees there There's some really cool views but you also have to pay attention to some of these really cool views come with a lot of foundation cost if the build site's not very flat
Uh, evolutionary homes again. I know I walked down this lot really thoroughly. But yeah, I'm trying to get it to where you can see through these trees here. You're going to have some really good views. There's a lot for sale. They probably got a quote from their builder and realized uh, that's going to be a lot of foundation cost to build into there. But if you're willing to do that, then you got some incredible views of the whole Texas Hill Country. There's a Spanish style roof. Another lot for sale. So yeah, if this community interests you, um, reach out to me and I can run a search to show everything that's on the market as of the day I run the search. And yeah, if you wanted to pick out one or well, no, up to five lots, uh, then I can come out here and do video tours of those lots. And they kind of help you narrow down what you're looking for. And uh, you, if you've been watching my channel, you know I'm a big integrity guy. I'll if some I'll let you. I'll give you all the information and then let you decide what you want to do. But yeah, check out this view coming down. That's just absolutely gorgeous. So these lots here have this killer view, and it is a beautiful day in the Texas Hill Country today. We had some nice range yesterday. All right, back on Ainsley's Ridge. Let me pull over here real quick and do a check to make sure my GoPro's even recording. That would be so. Yep, okay, I am recording. I'd be heartbroken if I had been talking all this time, riding around, and have to do it all over again. But that has happened before, especially with my uh, Esperanza video. I think I did that one three times. Mostly because the sound was jacked up, but I got all that figured out now. Okay, we did not make it all the way back down to Ainsley's Ridge. We're still on phase nine. But I know a friend of mine, she helped someone buy one of these lots. They were still active duty military and they bought one of those lots. And it goes all the way down to this. Uh, eventually, we'll back, it does back up to this little construction road there. And they'll have someone down below them eventually. All right, now we're back to Ainsley's Ridge. And we're gonna be slowly creeping back around to the phase one. So yeah, I think we're entering into like phase two or something like that. So these lots have been available a bit longer and that's why you see more construction on them. But yeah, everything back up here to my right was phase nine. Those are going to be some interesting houses facing up this way because I don't know how the builders would do the driveway. That'd be interesting. And there's where they eventually got the jogging trails coming in under the power lines. And now you can't see the power lines from all parts of the community. There's just a few homes. But hopefully you've got to see some value and uh, get a little more in-depth view of what this community looks like, what some of the houses, hey, that house is for sale. That's a beautiful one. And, uh, oh, I like that little sign there. I think Everview, not Everview, I think Evolutionary built that home as well. But it gives you an idea about this community, the types of homes that are built in here. 
And uh, yeah, if you're considering building in this community, uh, right off at the corner of 46 and Blanco Road, another lot for sale, you could definitely uh, reach out to me and I'll be happy to help. And if you're still with me and listen to me ramble on and on and on as I video these houses, I definitely appreciate that. And I'm assuming you have already liked and subscribed to my channel. I know these motorcycle tour videos don't get tons of views and I think that's hurting my algorithms a little bit because YouTube will dethrottle channels that don't get tons of views and I've been doing lots of motorcycle tours lately because the weather has been amazing lately and of course I'd rather be doing my motorcycle tours when it's uh, 62 degrees out versus 95 degrees so that's why I try to knock out all these motorcycle tours this time of year because uh, yeah heat, heat does suck it does get hot out here for a couple of months a year but right now texas is absolutely beautiful but uh yeah if you're still with me i definitely appreciate that and uh hopefully you get value from me showing off these neighborhoods from the top of a motorcycle and if you did yeah hit that like button there's a lot that my client's interested in again because we're coming back through phase one and uh yeah i just got stopped for the guy that worked for the ge appliances shout out to you jacob it was nice chatting with you so yeah if you see me out and about please do not hesitate to say hi i do kind of like that everybody has a little bit of an ego and always makes me feel good when someone's been watching and acknowledges that they watch my videos and they feel like they know like and trust me so that's kind of cool but don't hesitate to think that i'm some youtube star or nothing like that i'm a realtor with a camera trying to get you all the information so hesitate to reach out to me it's okay I, I i need the business and i like the business so don't hesitate to reach out but yeah hopefully you found this video interesting and uh got a little more information about what's going on out in bell oaks well right now we're heading back up to the front gate so it's time for me to wrap this long rambling video up so yeah hit that like button subscribe to my channel and of course share these videos with your friends and family all right take care now bye